Okay, hello, it's Sarah. And I've rolled out a piece of clay. I think this was like a number seven on my pasta machine. So it's a nice thickness. This is all I have left of my white. But I want to do a little tutorial on um, these clay hand-painted tiles. Um, those of you who have been following me, I'm kind of hooked on uh, polymer clay mosaics at the moment. So I'm just going to... Uh, show you one version of a clay tile that you can make from polymer clay and this is Sculpey 3 uh, and it's um, much much softer and easier to condition this is conditioning your clay getting it I mean this is very soft um, Primo is a much harder version it's more for sculpting but for tiles this is actually um, fine and I'm going to just cut this into like about four tiles that looks good and I'm gonna pull them off like that and get them separated I'm kind of looking around the camera so oh my I'm gonna change my battery I'll be right back okay just turns out every time I go to use it the, the battery needs changing so um, I've cut these tiles and I'm using um, you know what I noticed when I uh, looked at my other tiles that I had painted back when I um, first did these. I want to show you this. I don't know if you can notice, but I did use a serrated knife on these because there's little tiny notches in the lines. And it looks pretty cool. But Lori recommends that you use a um, non-serrated knife, like a kitchen knife. And all I could come up with was this like it's like a clam shucker I think um, but uh, something that I mean I think the blade on here it's just too sharp and it leaves too narrow of a line you want something a little bit wider so I'm gonna just take a piece of this clay and make some uh, marks on here kind of geometric in nature I'm, I turn the camera sideways so it's not in my way and let's see I'm gonna do um, this little style that I've been loving I do this one little skinny line oh that's kind of cool just like that actually I'm gonna set that aside and see I'll do it this way instead I like this this little skinny line you can put um, uh, stickles on that when it's painted and then I do a like X on that side so that's that one and let's see what else could I do you can just do it um, a long way and I'm gonna do um, another X on this side. Bye Matt! Bye. So you can go like that and that's kind of not my fave but I think I'm gonna do turn the piece, turn everything. I'm a big I like to be able to turn it so I can work on it the way I want to work on it. Hopefully I'm in the shot. I am going to put a couple of notches on this side because that's going to be, I'll make black and white checks. So just because after you bake it, these will have little areas that you can paint. Um, this one I'm just going to do, I want to do my little Harlequin pattern that I've been loving. I don't want to get the other pieces of clay so I try to move my knife so and that's it I'm just gonna leave it like that all right so that's four different styles of clay of tiles and then when you bake that you'll be able to paint them and I'll show you oops, what they look like and we'll paint one I'm gonna paint one with you so I have a couple here um, I like that one and that one. We'll do these three. And I'm going to try and do colors that I, I pulled a couple colors that I haven't used 
um, I like these blues, this Cape Cod and this uniform blue. I think they go nicely together. Um, I did pull this pink instead of this, like a fuchsia. This is royal fuchsia. This is more of a rosy color, wild rose. And then I pulled a lilac instead of, I've been using the pearl, um, purple pearl, which I do love because, but we're going to use the Martha Stewart white pearl instead. So I have a water bucket. I'll show you what I have. I have my water bucket here. I have some brushes. I have... These are these are pretty good brushes. They're this one I'm gonna use for varnish. You can see, oops, it's a messed up brush, but I use that for um, varnish. I have a couple mainly flats, things that I can um, make checks with in squares. So I have that. I'm gonna get a little paper plate out because I mean I actually have been putting the paint directly on my. Um, craft mat um and that's fine you can do that but it you know it's a pain I have to clean it off this is easier I'm gonna get this Cape Cod and this is brand new I didn't even notice that um I haven't bought paint in a while but I have so much paint so let's go down here where you can see oh man sorry about that glare I'm gonna put that there and try to and I'm going to show you, you want to do it like more of a wash, at least I do. I don't want it to be um, solid color because I want these to kind of be pastel and light. So I've gone into my water. I always, always put water in my brush so that it's not just um, paint that, I'm, that I have in the brush. And then that creates a slicker, um, let's see, I'm going to do this. And I mean, you could do each of these a different color. You could do, um, you know, it would be cool to do these two triangles one color, those two triangles one color, and then I'm going to do the three center ones uh, a color. But I just use the, I use the brush to kind of get in the, and if you go on the other section, it's okay. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. It's hard when you're working around a um, tripod. And these are little. And I'm not worried about the sides because I'm going to put gold on the sides. So that's pretty. I kind of like that. It's washy looking. But I'm going to come back with that pearl paint and show you how I fancy it up. Now what do we want to do on this one? I'm going to do these middle checks on here too. And it's watery. I like it watery. It'll move easier when um, the water, it, when there's water in the paint, <clears throat> it's slicker and it will move easier. It won't be gloppy and it's sheer, it's thinner. So I'm gonna do that. And then on this one, <clears throat> I'm gonna do these little sections and I'll do the middle a different color. I'm just gonna do these three and um, you'll get the idea. And those, all the lines that we've made with the um, knife will get filled in with a gold uh, gel pen. So that's what they look like. It's kind of sheer and um, we're going to leave that, let that coat dry and go. I'm going to get grab another color. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this uniform blue. This is much darker, but again, I'm going to um, have water in my brush, so it's going to be a, a sheer coat. So I don't want it to be opaque yet, or at all, actually. I want it to be sheer, and I'm going to do... Um, let me think. I'm going to do this one, definitely. See what this looks like. This is like one of the darkest tiles I've ever done. I have tended to keep them on the very pastel light side, but I think it's cool. We'll see what it looks like. And I'm going to do these. Oops, I went in the wrong color. Sorry, I'm rinsing my brush. Um, 
get that dark color with water so it's like a little more slick and slippery and do these two here and then I'm gonna do the other two in a third color and see what that looks like if you hate it you could just paint over it I'm sure I haven't ever started totally over but I'm sure you could and this style this um, design has room for a lot more colors I could do one two three more colors totally different colors but I think I'm gonna put the dark color along here too and just those two and that and then oh, I'm gonna go away and come back I think what should we do guys I think I'm gonna do this rose color what the heck and see what that looks like come on paint I haven't used these in a while so I'm just gonna stick a um, pin down the so you know what I'll just pour it out for now oh dear that was way too much um, Sorry, I was scooping up paint. Um, so I'm going to get my little, this is kind of, what's this, a number three? It's a number one. And I'm going to get some of that rose with water. I got water on my brush first. And I'm going to come in here and do this little stripe across. And that's it. And I'm going to do these. I should, I could probably use a, a bigger brush for here, but this will work. just taking a lot longer because <laughs> it's thinner but I can flatten it out and there so that's definitely a different look that I than I've had so far um, on any of my tiles I, I've done all pastel sorry I have a spilled paint here um, so I'm gonna go one more color um, I think like the yellow maybe well I mean might as well try it I don't know I don't know I just don't know water blot the yellow this is a very bright yellow to go with these colors but you know I don't know and try and paint this little section of tile That yellow is pretty. And once it's all done, once you have all your lines on there and everything, I mean, it'll look cool. All right, so they're just about dry. And let me think. I'm going to leave them like this, and then we're going to come back with floats. And I'll show you what the floats are now. Those of you who don't paint and aren't good at floats, you can do it. Um, with another wash you could just put a wash on top but I'm going to use this Martha Stewart pearl paint and I'll show you what it does especially on the dark color that we did the dark blue it's really going to look cool so I'm going to use um this it's a this is a um five eighths I think three eighths inch angle brush that I'm floating with it has an angle to it and I'm going to put the color on the tip of the brush like that and then I'm gonna kind of push it into the brush a little and there's water there you can see it shining um, and then I'm gonna take this tile and pull that across there and it calms it right down and adds total shimmer and I'm gonna do the same thing to each of these triangles so that calmed it maybe too much. I don't know. It still looks dark. I like it. I'm going to stick with that. And I'm going to come over here to this tile. Do the same thing. And just go down one side of that. And one side of each of the corners. Where that dark blue paint is. 
cool, right? Can you see the shimmer? See, it starts to come together. Um, for this, the medium blue that we used, the lighter blue color, I'm going to silute it and I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go in here. Um, put a little dark. Darken it up a little bit. Just one side. I think that looks good. Maybe. Same thing on these. That looks good. I, I don't talk a lot when I paint. It's kind of like I'm so focused on what I'm doing. But I want that white pearl again. And I'm going to do these two triangles. And I'm going to do all of it. I'm going to do um, the medium blue. Or it's actually the lighter blue. And I'm going to do the pink color too. The same way, just adding that white paint on top and all of a sudden it's changed the whole dynamic I guess of that tile and I think these actually need it too I'm gonna put this on the um the lighter blue on this one it just looks pretty and I like it so what the heck right cool and I may even put it on the pink I like it all right, how about this guy? Does he need pearl? Might as well. I might as well. Right along each edge. I don't know if we'll be able to see the difference in the colors of the paint. Yeah, you can. You can definitely tell one's darker, one's lighter. Do we need it on the yellow? I don't know, I mean, yeah. Look how cool, all right. So I want to totally let those dry because the next step is to varnish. All right, so I'll go away and come back. Okay, so they're dry. The next step is to varnish and I am using this uh, Deco Art Jansen Art Tradition Satin Varnish. I've, just, I've had this forever. I wish there was a date. If that means anything, it might be in 04. I mean, I could have actually have had this since 04. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have soda. So I'm gonna just put this out on my craft mat. Just a little bit. Sorry about that glare. I'm gonna try and move over a little. I'm using that fuzzy brush that I showed you. It's a fuzzy, old fuzzy brush that I don't use for much else. And I'm just gonna coat each of these one coat, just right on top. Not even the sides or anything, just the top to seal the paint. So, just like that. Oh, I'm not in the shot. Okay. I'm so sorry. I, for, I forget sometimes that I'm not in the shot. And that's it. So I'm going to let that dry and I'll come back and I'll show you the next thing to do. So that's it. They are varnished. I'm going to let them dry. And I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to let them dry. And while they're drying, I'm going to paint this dragonfly. Why not? I mean, it's just another thing I could share with you. So I have this dragonfly. I have this little bee. I love the bees. I can't wait to see what they look like. And I have this butterfly. But I want to do this dragonfly. I have this cool paint. It's called um, Halo Blue Gold. And it's Jacquard's Lemur paint. And it's actually for, um, it's a light body acrylic paint. But I think it's for pa um, painting on fabric. I've never used it on fabric, but anywho, I am going to take a little brush and I'm going to paint this dragonfly, his wings, and see um, how this looks. I'm going to go to here first and get it really um, washy. Oh yeah, I love this color because <gasps> there's green, blue, and gold in it. Oh my God, it's gorge. I love it. It's perfect for dragonflies. Iridescent, you know? I love it, love it, love it. Wow. 
Dragonflies are one of my favorite critters. I call them critters. It's an insect. Um, thinking of getting one on my other wrist one of these days tattooed. I don't know. I might be done. But look at that. Oh my god. How simple was that? Look at that. Oh, I'm going to do another one while I'm letting this dry. Um, I have a couple colors of this jacquard paint. I don't even remember why I got it originally. Um, what what drew me to it? Where's my other dragonflies? They're still in the box, I guess. All right, then let's do. Um, is this a fly or a bee? It must be a bee. I don't have. Oh, I know what I can do for that. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna get. Where's my box? Here it is. I'm going to get out some more dragonflies because I'll go find, I have, a, I think I have a color that I really want to use for that bee, but I don't want to get up. I'm going to, I have a couple other dragonflies I can paint real quick. And probably by the time, um, yeah, that's it. By the time these are dry, because they'll be dry very quick. The, um, what's it called? Varnish does not take long to dry. See, that's a little thicker. I want to get it. Um, wow, and this is really indented into the clay. Isn't that gorge? Wow, I love it. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, sorry. That's just simply color getting me that excited. Let's see if I can take a Q-tip and just swoop it there. Yep. I want to get it off the above the clay, which I got it on above the clay. I meant the clay that's, um, see this one's not as indented into the clay. So I'm just going to gently, really tiny bit of paint I'm using, tiny, because their wings are sheer, obviously, in reality, so it's okay if they're sheer, but I just love that iridescence. So much. Look at that. Should I just do their bodies too? I should. I should just do their bodies with this color too. Because that's all you need to do. Why do I need to? It's tiny. I don't need to bring that much more. Uh, there we go. Wow. Super gorge. I can tell these aren't quite, this one looks dry. This one has like a little, I could see it there. I just touched it. And that doesn't look as two-tone as I kind of hoped. So when I do more, I'll know better to put those two colors together. I was going by one of my older ones, I'll show you. I was going by, uh, well these two colors are definitely, they're more um, of a green blue. Where the heck is that tile? But I really liked this combination that I saw. And of course I won't be able to find it in a pinch like this. To show you. I think it was this one. Um, something like this I was going for. And that's like a much, much lighter blue and a darker blue. So that's what I was going for with that. But do you see how I colored them? Just crazy like one two three four five colors are on there and the purples twice so you know I mean you can do let's see see you can't really tell that they're different you know what I should just do that black I think that might be what I do watch what I I'm gonna change it up a little bit and just put it right here I only need a tiny bit and I'm just going to make that, because it, it just doesn't look right, it's not that much of a difference, so I'm going to make it black. And that way it'll, uh, actually I'll make this black, the center harlequin, on this one. I love black as just a, a standout color, a pop. I gotta go underneath my tripod, sorry.
And like I said, if you get it in the cracks or on the other tile, it's okay because you're going to be putting the gel pens on. So see that just, that just completely changed the look of that completely. I'm going to do the same thing here and just go, I should have done the, the Harlequin again, but I didn't just figured I'd do it easier this way. I mean, and maybe, no, I don't want to do, you know what, I could do checks, <clears throat> but I'm not going to do that. All right, my battery's blinking again. I'm going to go away and make sure those tiles are dry, and then I'll show you the next step on the tiles. Okay, they're dry. I totally changed the look of them now. I just um, put the black checks in there instead of the um, two, two, two colors of blue. And I even did this one pink instead of the two colors of blue. And it just fixed it and made it better. Um, we painted the dragonflies and I just added some background color. This one looks really cool because it's like, looks watercolor. You can't even really see it in camera, but it's splashy. Like this bee I painted. I'll show you the bee. And I put the iridescent wings. Um, this one's a more watercolory background. All right, but the next thing that you do to the tile, these tiles, once they're dry, the, um, the varnish, now we can use our metallic pen and it won't, um, we don't have to worry about it running when we varnish. And I always have a Q-tip handy because I definitely went on to the black a little bit and I just take the Q-tip and push it off. And you just run this down these creases. Hopefully I'm in the shot. And, you know, it's hard to hold it. Here, I got to go through the tripod again. I, I was going to use a silver pen for these. I really think that would look cool, but I don't have a metallic silver smaller pen. That will be on my list for next time because I am going to edge them with silver paint and I'll show you that but see how I'm just pulling this down and it really brings out the creases so nicely and this one you could also do doodles, polka dots, anything you want in the blank spaces. I think I'm just going to use stickles or some of the um, scribbles, the metallic scribbles. But I um, just wanted to show you this step. So that's all I'm going to do for that. Then I have some more of that Le Mer paint, the metallic paint. And this is silver. I'm just going to, I shook it up and I'm going to use the cap. And I'm just going to take it. I hope I don't smudge that because, I mean, you could give it some time to dry in between. But I literally just get it on my finger and touch it. And I like it to come up over the lip of the tile as well. So that it kind of gets um, onto the front of the tile. Like actually blot. Onto the face of the tile so it kind of gives it a little... Um, See, I touched it. You could do two sides at a time so that you don't make a mess. And I'm, um, you know, just trying to show you this. So it's, uh, I'm going to dry them and I'll come back and show you what they look like. Um, I wanted to do a dragonfly because um, this is really the only paint this will have. Like, um, a detail paint. Well, I don't know what I'm saying here. So, but all these steps and you end up with a really cool looking tile. So I'm going to go away and come back and I will show you what they look like finished. Be right back. Okay, so I painted them all up. Finished them pretty much, but we're going to do our stickle step next. I um, wanted to show you for the queen bee, I just like did a little bit of the, um, the, what is it? I want to say glaze again. Why is glaze? Pearl. Glaze is stuck in my head. Pearl 
on the sides and then just some Caribbean blue on it and that's it just added I added gold I wasn't liking these with the silver as much because I didn't have a silver line pen but I'm gonna get one um, but I am going to add silver stickles to these so that way it'll pull the silver in. Um, on all of the dragonflies, I told you I used this. Uh, I love it. The Samir paint. It's called Halo Blue Gold because it's like green and gold and blue. I love it. Um, I'm going to put the blue and uh, purple in the background on these, on the bees too. Painted them just with some yellow and I did their wings with the... Um, white pearl put a little green in their eyes and the backgrounds with kind of watercolory blue and purple too just just to give it some uh, color like this one really looks dark you can see that one better um what else the butterflies same thing pretty much can't really see that this has a blue wing we can't really see it um, but they look good. I mean, and I varnished everything and put the, this, some of them have silver, some have gold um, on the edge. And you could also use your gold leafing pens. Forgot to mention that. I just had the paint, so I figured it's, I don't know if it's as easy or not. Sometimes my, I think I might be running out of the gold leafing stuff. But these, these dragonflies are my absolute faves. I love them. They are so cool really love that okay so I'm just gonna take my silver stickles shook it down a little make sure it kind of comes to the top I'm gonna put I'll zoom in a little sorry about the that's my spotlights there this almost looks silver the blue it's like a silver blue gotta shake it down a little more let's live camera here hold on maybe even get a um pin give a pin haven't used silver in a while there we go. See if that's going to come out now. Yep. And I'm just going to put one in the middle of that. And I'm going to go with one, two, three, four. Not centered, but cute. I'm going to put them in the center. One, two, three and when they dry they really add sparkle like I love these little um that's got gold on it look at this right in the center of the um clock it's just a gold dot of uh, stickles uh, this one has the clear all over the triangle so I mean I might add a little on one of these bees let's see Let's go for it, shall we? Um, put a little clear stickles on. You know what, I'm gonna do a B too. I mean, um, let me move these out of the way before I stick my hand in them. Cause you know that's what you do. Uh, I'm gonna put on one of the bees. Let's see, I mean, gosh, I keep calling them bees. Yeah, definitely the bees wings here. Stickle it up a little don't need it and you know what wink of Stella would probably look cool but these have been varnished now so now we're on top of everything this is the final step if you want to do any doodling on your tiles now would be the time if you wanted to because you're not going to pull them off that uh, the gel pen isn't going to run because that's what happened when I did it uh, originally and then I varnished the varnish pulls the gel pen off so um, I'm gonna do one of these um, butterflies too where did I put him just now I see I always move him but look that looks super cool to just I'm gonna do it to all of them I have to I have to it's too cool and I'm gonna definitely do at least one I don't like this butterfly seems kind of um, modeled I want to say like it's not defined so I'm just going to add stickles and if, if you rub it around make it kind of thin you can see through it a lot better my, all my clear stickles are upside down they're all running out oops that came out pretty good 
Look at that, how sparkly. Don't we all love stickles? I'm not putting it on my dragonflies though because they are already, it would hide the paint. So what would be the point of having that nice uh, iridesc iridescent paint on there? So just a little bit. Look at that, so cool. All right, you guys, so hopefully that gives you the confidence to know there's nothing to it. You just stamp, I used, by the way, Got a question already on my other one. I use Archival. I thought it was out here. Oh Lord. Archival ink to stamp with. It is not here. It's somewhere. It's on my desk somewhere. Anywho, Archival. Can't find it at the moment. I'm sure you could use Stays On, anything permanent like that. Um, all right, you guys. So. Get out your clay and have fun. All right, thanks for watching.